Film binding on Bayless is not unique. There are more manufacturers offering it. But let's have a look at the solution from Kuhn. Here we can immediately see that there are film rolls on the machine as well as a net roll. Depending on the field, crop or customer requirements, the operator can choose between net binding or film binding. What is special is that the film rolls are simply the same as on the wrapper. This is not just convenient, but also a lot cheaper. At the start of the binding process, the rolls are in a vertical position. The reason for this is that the film is fed into the bale chamber as a very strong, narrow strand. When the rollers are folded to the horizontal position, the film is quickly distributed across the entire width of the bale. At the end of the binding process, the rolls come to an upright position again, so that the film forms a narrow strand, ready for the next bale. By the way, the bale chamber of the Kuhn Bayless is completely adapted for film binding. No film will stick to the rolls or wrap around them. The operator can fully rely on trouble-free and perfect binding. Kuhn deliberately chooses two standard rolls of film, because narrow rolls reach the full width of the bale much more quickly. This saves film and time. If we compare this with other film binding systems, we save half a rotation of film per bale. Imagine the time and money saved after a long day of baling. Many film binding systems work with special wide film rolls that are stretched by about 10%. The standard film rolls from Kuhn stretch up to 70%. The result is much tighter bales which hold their shape better and do not expand after leaving the bale chamber. And if you stretch the film by up to 70%, you also get 70% more length out of a roll and you do not have to change the rolls as often. This also saves valuable time and film. If you want to know more about the difference between net binding and film binding, click here.